Inflation is a silent thief and it's been taking bigger and bigger chunks out of everyone's budgets. It leads to everything rising in price from the food you depend on to the fuel in your car. As the total supply of money in circulation increases, the purchasing power of your income decreases. During a relatively low inflation year, it reduces your buying power by about 2-3%. to But these days, inflation is hovering closer to 8% according to the official estimates. But many experts place the true number between 12 and 15 percent, a level we haven't seen in 40 years. So what can you do about it? With inflation running amok, no one is immune from its ravages, but you don't have to sit idly by as your costs rise higher and higher. I'll be going over what you can do to save money during times of inflation. If that sounds good to you, smash that like button down below and let's get right into it. One, pay off all your debts. Inflation hurts variable rate loans. This covers variable rate credit cards and mortgages. You can refinance variable rate loans with fixed rate loans or pay them off. When your family is struggling, paying off debt can feel like drowning. And as bigger recession looms on the horizon, your income could be wiped out. So paying off this drain on your income and potential savings needs to be a top priority. One strategy is to pay off the loan with the highest interest rate first. You'll soon notice results which will boost your motivation to pay off debt. Another approach to debt repayment is to take care of your smallest loans first, which, once paid off, frees up more money to pay off the second and third biggest loans in a so-called debt snowball. Creating an emergency fund can also be thought of as part of the get-out-of-debt strategy because having it in place will likely prevent incurring future debt. Save money while you can. Everything helps. A nest egg gives you the peace of mind knowing you can handle an unexpected car or house repair without going into debt. Two, save on energy. With rising expenditures and inflation, many people look for cost-cutting methods. Reducing utility use is an old savings method. Many of us remember the PSAs, TV shows, and school campaigns that taught us to turn off lights, unplug appliances, and never let the water run when brushing our teeth. Natural light and LEDs can cut energy use. Energy vampires include technologies that light up or stay on standby when not in use. Power strips can be used to turn off appliances throughout the day. Consider on-demand hot water such as a fantastic tankless water heater. Unlike a typical water heater, it only heats water when needed, saving electricity. This might save you $100 annually. 3. Increase fuel efficiency Across 2022, gas prices have seen record highs across the United States. Though they have come down somewhat, we could very well see fuel prices hit new highs as sanctions against Russia limit available supply. The good news is using less gas is straightforward and goes along long way in saving you money. We tend to rely on our vehicles for everything and take fuel costs for granted. But instead of hopping into your car whenever you feel like running to the store, approach transportation more strategically. For example, reduce unnecessary excursions, slow down and consolidate trips to save 10% or more on fuel. When gas prices rise like in 2006, people slow down to save fuel. Avoid jackrabbit starts at stoplights, carpool with co-workers or family. And if you're really a super saver, hop on your bike and cancel that gym membership you never use. Speaking of dropping expensive memberships, that brings us to our next inflation fighting tip. Four, cut out subscriptions. Monthly subscriptions and streaming services are likely wasteful. Believe it or not, the average household pays around $55 per month for four and a half different subscription services. $55 a month is over $600 a year. Canceling unneeded subscriptions is a good way to cut expenditures amid rising prices. A great way to stay on top of your subscriptions is with a personal finance app like Mint. Mint connects to your bank and credit card accounts to search for subscriptions you're paying for so you can zero in on the ones you aren't using and cancel them. Some apps like Trim can even help you negotiate better cable, internet and phone costs to save money or reduce bank fees. On top of that, switching banks or moving to a credit union can reduce banking fees. Members of credit unions tend to get better savings rates and reduced fees. And if you're struggling with less than stellar credit, credit unions are attractive since they often have competitive borrowing rates. 5. Budget for investments Some people consider rising prices 
price is the worst time to invest. Why invest when monthly bills are rising? But whether you're investing for retirement or to preserve your purchasing power, you should be consistent in your approach. For example, gold has been used as a store of value for millennia. Over the 20 year period between August 2002 and August 2022, the price of gold has increased by 9.48% each year on average. Dividend paying companies are another great way to boost your income. Dividends are simply earnings from companies paid out to shareholders. Some public corporations benefit from inflation by raising prices and earning greater profits, which they can then distribute as dividends to you. There are simple and powerful things you can do and actions you can avoid that can help you adapt to this period of high inflation for however long it goes on, which could very well be three to five years. One thing that's easy to overlook with the current fear around climbing prices is that it's not hitting everything equally. And so different homes and industries will feel it differently and need to adapt to their unique situation. And whatever your personal situation is, it's always wise to reevaluate your financial decisions in light of major changes in the economy and monetary system. I know whenever the topic of inflation and savings comes up, everyone has their own thoughts and views. Let us know any thoughts that you have in the comment section down below. We love hearing from you guys. See you next time.